make sure that the total amount of credit that you have access to, you're only make sure you're only using about 10% or less of the total credit you have access to. That's a big one. Um, and that's, a, that's, a, that's one that a lot of, a lot of banks and a lot of like different credit card companies, I will say, are a bit predatory in the sense that they, for anyone listening or watching, you may have had a credit card company send you a pre-qualified credit card or at least a notice. They're like, oh, we have this Capital One card. You're pre-qualified. Sign up here. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't personally like that. I think you can use those strategically. But what I tend to find is they will send them to people who probably – won't make payments on time or they'll use the credit card they'll abuse the credit card i'll say and so what they'll do is they'll give a credit card that's two thousand dollars two thousand dollar limit and they they almost know the person will spend 1900 or 2000 or 1500 or something close to the max and to me it's a bit predatory i i think people should stay away from that if they don't use it strategically just because the interest racks up so it's too Hmm. difficult to get out of debt and of course you begin to reach the max of what your total credit provided is, so that hurts your credit score. And then you start missing payments because then some people get into that realm where it's like, oh, I don't even look at my account or my statement because I already know I can't pay it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's a position you don't want to be in. So build up credit. I was, the two biggest ways, if you have whatever credit you have, spend less Spend about 10% or less of the total. Uh, that's one thing. Second thing, paid on time. Th- those make those are the two biggest factors when it comes to your credit score. 